This video will cover adding an item via the pending file. Adding an item in EIS by pulling the PON information from the pending file will save you time because it will automatically fill in many of the fields in item screen. If the purchase order item and invoice numbers are known, you can enter these in at the top of the screen and press Get Pending. If not, you can use the Get Pending key to display the pending file. Next, place your cursor on the PO item you want to pull in and press Select Item. The information will be automatically pulled over into the Acquisition Transaction portion of Item Screen and it will be removed from the pending file once the item has been posted. Enter a tag number. The next available tag number determined by DAT Screen will appear by default. If this is not the tag number you want, you can overwrite it. The acquisition date on the screen must be in the current fiscal year. If this is the only acquisition for this item, press the Finish Acquisition Function key to post the record and return to Screen 1 of Item Screen. But if you have additional acquisition records to post to this item, you would want to press the Add Acquisition Function key. This will allow you to add more acquisition records. When all of the acquisition records have been entered, press the Finish Acquisition key to return to Screen 1 of Item Screen. In Item Screen, fill in the item information on Screens 1 through 3. Screen 1 contains the ID and current information. Recommended fields include the item category, the number of items will already be filled in from the pending file as well as the description. The replacement cost and insurance value comes from the acquisition amount. Location is another one. Use your Help key to pull up a list of the location categories. The Asset Class, Fund, and Function are required. Screen 2 contains the acquisition, depreciation, and maintenance information on the item. The acquisition information is already filled in since it was pulled from the pending file. Required fields on this screen include the acquisition date, the original cost, and the method. If tracking depreciation, straight line is used for school districts. The beginning depreciation date is usually the month and year of the acquisition date. You also need to enter the life expectancy of the item. If the item is a leased item, you would want to fill in the necessary information on screen 3. Once the item is complete, select Add to add the item. You may page up to the first screen to see if the item has been marked as capitalized or non-capitalized, depending on if the item met the threshold criteria. You may also view the associated acquisition tied to this item by exiting out of item screen and accessing option 2, acquisition transaction. The acquisition transaction data is primarily the purchase order information that came from the pending file. 